So the Hudson River is tidal, we all know that. And here at Kawisi, there could be a dramatic difference in the tide. This morning about 8.15, we put this tide stick right at the edge of the water. You can see the edge of the water is now quite a bit further away. We're gonna measure that distance by using this um, wind up measuring tool. All right, so we're gonna go out. All right, so this particular tool does metric and standard. So we'll use both of those. And at the moment, we're about 40 uh, centimeters. So about two meters and change, about 40 centimeters. And I'm gonna just flip it over, um, which brings us to about eight feet. So we're about eight feet from where that particular tide stick is. And remember I said it was 815 when we originally put the stick in. And it's now about 1040 in the morning, just to give you an idea of the timing there. Now, even if we just arrived and there was no stick to tell us about the tide, because of where we are in relation to where the ocean is, we are gonna feel those effects, right? And they're gonna be relatively dramatic. And what's neat is that the shoreline tells us a little bit about it. So the shoreline has some markings in it. You can see the wet, right? And then you see where the stone becomes a little bit lighter, right? And then we see another delineation here. And as you go down the shoreline, you can see there are some leaves there. And then we've got yet another delineation here right another one here this is probably the general place of the highest of tides right but then there's more debris way up here which says that at some point whether it was storm surge this much material got way up here so the tide is low this morning here um, but of course that tide's going to change because the hudson river is the river that flows both ways